How's it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for TVAPE TV in the studio with a very special video for you today. Today we have the G-Pen Dash. I'm super excited to dive into this unit, but first, if at any point you like this video, throw us a thumbs up, would you? Come on, it's easy, just do it. Just click the button, I'll shut up about it. I swear to God, just click the button. Enough of that, let's get in to the G-Pen Dash. As per usual, first we're gonna go over what's in the box. The box is this little tin looking thing. When you open it up, you have the G-Pen Dash itself, a micro USB cable, and a little packing, stirring, emptying tool that comes on a keychain that kind of looks like a G-Pen Elite. And it's got the little logo on it. So you too, just like a member of Good Life Fitness, can be a walking advertisement. Though I will say this one's a little more subtle though, cause like no one will be able to see it. It's actually pretty cool. I don't know why I'm hating on it. As with any device, we highly recommend fully charging it before your first use. Next, you're gonna turn the device on by hitting the button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Next, remove the magnetic mouthpiece and load your dry herb into the chamber. The G-Pen Dash is made for herb only. Herb only, excuse me. No concentrates, no tobacco, none of that, just for herb. Next, press the power button five times rapidly to turn it on. Press the power button three times to switch between temperatures. The dash will automatically heat up and will vibrate when it reaches temperature. The dash has three temperature settings indicated by the LEDs on the front of the device. The lowest is blue at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. The middle temperature is green, 401 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. And the highest temperature is red, 428 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 220 degrees Celsius. These temperatures cover a pretty solid range. Just like any other device, the lower the temperature, the better the flavor, the less clouds. The higher you go, the vapor tends to be a little bit harsher, but you'll get slightly more clouds though. The vapor quality of the G-Pen Dash is pretty good for what it is. Let's be clear, this is a budget device, so it's not gonna be stores and bickle quality, but it's all right. The vapor path is really short, as you can probably imagine. So it does come out a little bit hotter, especially on those higher temperatures. The glass glazed stainless steel chamber is pretty solid. Both of the bottom two temperatures I did not find harsh, that top one though was uncomfortable for my throat. The glass glaze on the heating chamber definitely raises up the quality from your traditional stainless steel chamber. The dash heats up in about 20 seconds, which is pretty damn impressive. There are also airflow ports on both sides of the device. So the hits are reasonably free flowing. The dash has a built-in session timer of five minutes. So it'll turn itself off after five minutes of inactivity. The G-Pen Dash is a good little piece of technology. It comes in really short. It's less than four inches tall. It is ergonomically designed with a magnetic mouthpiece that pulls off really easily. And it's pretty discreet. It looks more like an e-cigarette than a dry herb vape. There are a decent amount of features packed into this device. It's got haptic feedback, that 20 second heat up time and pass through charging, which is great. Which for the record just means while it's plugged in, you can still keep using it. The shell is made of aluminum alloy and it's pretty sturdy. It has stood up to a couple drops since I've had mine. The G-Pen Dash has a 950 milliamp hour lithium battery that should last you about eight to 10 sessions before needing a recharge. It's not great, but it definitely gets the job done. And again, that pass-through charging will help mitigate that. The LED lights on the front of the device indicate where your battery's at. Three lights indicates 80 to 100%. Two lights means 60 to 66%, and one light means anything under 33%. The dash is super straightforward to use. You just take off the magnetic mouthpiece, put your dry herb into the chamber, close it back on up, tap it five times, and you're good to go. The Dash is a pretty solid device in the price point. There's a lot of things to like, like the haptic feedback, pass-through charging, that stainless steel glass glazed chamber, and the magnetic ergonomic mouthpiece as well as that 20 second heat up time. It has a lot of features that you would expect to find in a more premium device. Yes, on higher settings, the vapor does get a little bit harsh, but I do find overall, if you're looking for an entry level budget device, the Dash is a pretty solid choice. The biggest drawback I can find is that 950 milliamp hour battery, but take a portable power bank with you and that pass through charging should offset that. And that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something, please tap, tap that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and that little bell to stay up to date on all of our latest. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different vaporizer review, if you're like, dude, where's the poster? I don't know. I I'm gonna have to check the tracking. It's gonna be a whole thing. 
but I promise the one that's coming in, maybe I'm hyping it up too much. No, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be that good and better. I hope, I really hope. Until next time, my name's Alex for T-Vape TV and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.